twist to the drama at North Miami Beach City Hall, the city attorney resigned at the end of the week rather than face almost certain termination. Hans Ottenot ran literally the last commission meeting from City Hall rather than answer questions about his role in blocking city business. Two commissioners say he advised them, though not the other commissioners, to boycott meetings, preventing a quorum and any decisions, which actually included his termination. The drama started with a power shift in elections last fall. Commissioner Fortuna Smuckler was re-elected, newly empowered, and has shown up to meetings. And we invited the commissioners who have not to join us, and they did not respond. Fortuna Smuckler did, and as she is here, right here with us today. Hi, Fortuna. Hi, Glenna. Good afternoon. So um, the new now ex city attorney seems to be the key to all of this drama involving the block on city business since last fall. And I wonder if you can give everyone who does not live in North Miami Beach sort of some clarity about that. OK, well, as you mentioned, um, we had an election in November and the residents clearly stated that they wanted a change of direction. And I have to give a shout out to you because your coverage on that uh, ridiculous over six figure gift card giveaway promoting a commissioner who, by the way, lost, had a lot to do with uh, one of the many reasons NMB woke up. So thank you for that. Um, you know, our attorney was hiring outside counsel and filing litigation without the approval of the commission, and that's against our city charter. He was uh, not responding to my request for opinions. He was giving advice to commissioners, but not to all seven of us. He was giving advice to the commissioners that uh, wanted to allow him to keep his $65,000 a month job. He was walking, as you said, he was walking out of meetings. He uh, he, he locked uh, a cameraman and the newscaster, not allowing him to get out of City Hall. I guess and the, then question, ran. the question is mm -hmm. why? What, what would be his motivation for doing all these things as the attorney of a city? $65,000 a month. To keep his job. Yes. So since the election last fall, you all have not had a quorum. There have been no decisions made by the city at all. This coming Tuesday night, the commissioners who were no shows are court ordered to be there. You should have your first quorum, your first city business. Um, the firing of the city attorney is now moot because he resigned. Uh, what, what will you be doing if you do get your first quorum on Tuesday night? Getting back to business. We have on the agenda discussion of our city manager. Obviously, we have to hire an uh, interim attorney, and we need to get back to business. We have developers. We have uh, water issues. We have so much that we need to do that has not been done since October of 2022. So the reason um, we have to bring up the issue of the North Miami Beach mayor's residency because this is the issue that the attorney and the no-show commissioners want to rely upon to say this is why we're not showing up we question where the mayor lives and we don't think it's in north miami beach so just to recap for everybody uh, the city attorney did an unauthorized private investigation that came up with some questions but no conclusions shop that as conclusive to the press hoping the press would pick it up some did, some did not. Uh, they took it to court. It is in court right now. Do you have any concerns about where the mayor lives? Who is still the mayor, according to a judge's order, um, incidentally? But do you have any concerns about the mayor's residency? Um, Glenna, so right now, Mayor DeFilippo is our mayor. I do not know where he does or does not live. I don't know where the majority of my commissioners live or do not live. I know that uh, what was done, the, this, all this filing and litigation was done without the approval of the commission. It is being funded by the city without the approval of our commission. And until I have an attorney in there that's going to do what is the best thing for our city, whether it be to file to get rid of him or not to do anything, 
until I have a proper attorney telling me what to do, I don't know what I'm going to do. So for, you know, Miami-Dade and Broward have dozens of cities and very rarely does anybody scrutinize a smaller city's finances or decisions and and maybe we should that's on us um, so I, I wonder if you could just talk a little bit big picture for all of the city governments that go on how, how is it that a city attorney who works for the city can only operate by communicating with two or three instead of in your in your case all seven I mean how, how is that even possible it's not possible Glenda it was being done and he was advising them not to come to the commission meetings he was uh, going rogue on us it and you couldn't and did, you couldn't terminate uh, him because you didn't have a quorum correct um, and we are supposed to have a quorum now on Tuesday. I have to go to, I'm also obligated to go. It's not just the three missing, all seven of us have to show up. And of course, we. I was going to show up, but um, he, he resigned because he knew he was going to get fired. So right now, everyone should know there are a couple of court cases in play. Uh, one is, as mentioned before, the question about where the mayor lives. The other is a question about one of the no-show commissioners how many days he's actually missed and whether or not by charter he's missed too many to keep his seat. So now without a city attorney representing the city, do those court cases go forward? How does that work? Well, we, we will be picking and hopefully we will be picking an interim city attorney on Tuesday and we will have to have discussion with him or her to decide um, if these cases uh, have any standing, if they're, if, if, if it's part of the charter, um, do we have, can we decide on whether the mayor lives or does not live as a commission? Can we decide on um, Commissioner Joseph's missing, uh, it's been 150 days that he's been out. All this will be decided um, with a new city attorney. So I want to thank you for always being uh, accessible, always answering our calls. Not everybody in government does, not just in North Miami Beach, but we find mm -hmm. in a lot of other places, and it helps to keep the public informed and aware. And we will see you Tuesday night. Thanks so much for tuning in. Yes, you will. Thank, thank you, Glenna. All right.